Welcome to the Hana Financial Group Championship Final Round Action from Sky 72 Golf Resort Ocean Course. It's the Final Round Action and hope you will stay with us. Mike Kim welcoming you to the Hana Financial Group Championship Final Round and what a day we are having. And there have been a lot of moves at the leaderboard and we will take you there just shortly. But first, we will give you an opportunity to show you some of the highlights from the third round. And let's take you to the fourth hole, Hana Jung, currently the overnight leader. At this time, she was eight under. Gave herself a good birdie opportunity. And did not miss that opportunity. And so at this time, she was nine under par to clear the rest of the field. Playing alongside with Mindy Park. And let's go to the 10th hole, par four. Hanajan also in a good position. Always known to be a good ball striker and what a result that was. But unfortunately he left out the right edge and had to settle for a par to remain the eight under par. And this time, she was one shot clear of Minji Park and 99. And the par 4 15th hole. Minji Park currently at the time 5 under par and just a heartbreaker for Minji. One of the par for the day. Birdie. I think she's got it. Finally. And 99 rolled it in nicely on the 16th hole, one of the toughest par four. Ocean Course and Song Yi Han with the seven iron confident swing and drew it in nicely. Coming off that rough and almost came a hair inches of pulling out and walking away with that beautiful sport sedan. That could have been the 16th hole in one of the KLPGA Tour in 2020. Minji Park at this time, six under par, looking for a birdie to get into a three-way tie with her playing partners. And yes, she did. She, is, she, along with Hana Jang and Narinan, were overnight leader after the third round. We'll have another quick look. So we on three, up, three shots behind the three of the leaders. And Wu Jung Kim, look at that score, six under par yesterday, and all of a sudden, Sky rocketed into the first page of the leaderboard. Arin Kim, backward a little bit in the moving day, but still right there, hanging in there. And Yoon Young Ho, look at her score. Young, who has announced her retirement after this tournament, and this will be the final day for her today at the final round of the Hana Financial Group Championship. Yun Young Ho has had a good career since making her debut back in June of 2009, so she'll be closing out a 12-year career here on the KLPJ Tour. Diane Lee was the runner-up for the 2019 HANA Financial Group Championship. Also lurking around, and So Yun Ru, don't count this lady out. 
over Dangerous So Yun Ru, the current champion of the Kia Korea Women's Open champion. Kyo Chu Kim, disappointing results, and Han So Ji gave away a lot of shots in the back nine yesterday, five over par. And the total prize money for this tournament is 1.5 billion won, equivalent to about 1.25 US dollars. The winner will take away 300 million won, about 250,000 US dollars. So a lot riding on this tournament, but also an opportunity to get right up to the top of the leaderboard on the prize money as well as the player of the year award. So players. Not only vying for the 300 million won prize money, but also an opportunity to get closer to be the Player of the Year award winner. And let's take a look at some of the notable pairings. Ayan Cho, the winner of the Rookie of the Year award on the KLPGA Tour last year, playing alongside with Hyoju Kim and Han So Ji, who had a disappointing round last yesterday. They teed off at 9.30 this morning. And Su Yun Jung, along with number one player in the world, Jin Young Ko, and, and Min Song Ha, teed off at 9.51. And Min Kyung Choi, who hung on tough, had a couple bogeys, but still stayed right there, and Diane Lee as well, and Sajin Park all t playing together. They teed off at 10.02 this morning. And Yoon Kyung Ho, as well as So Mi Lee and So Yun Ru, also playing together. And they teed off at 10.13. And Song Yeon with Woo Jung Kim, who had a 600 par yesterday, surprised a lot of people and is getting ready to make her moves in the final round. And let's see what she can do playing along with Arim Kim. And they teed off at 10.24 this morning. And Benji Park with Nadine An and Hana Jong. Nadine An, who won her first tournament of her career this year, trying to repeat for the second time this year in 2020. And Benji Park, look out. She is going to be also battling it out with Hana Jang, our defending champion of the Hana Financial Group Championship. They teed off at 10.35 this morning. And we'll take a look at some more highlights from earlier today. Cold and windy condition. Let's go to the second hole, Narinan. Overnight leader along with Hana Jung and Minji Park. And a beautiful shot taking that slope. She is continuing to fire in all cylinders as she did yesterday. Could potentially be the first birdie. Rolled it in beautifully to take a shot lead over the rest of her playing partners. This time, Hana Jung as well as Minji Park all bogeyed that hole. So it was a two shot swing and had taken the two shot lead. But Hana Jung on the fourth hole had other ideas. And Birdie rolled it in confidently as she did yesterday in the third round. So gets that shot back that she had given away on the second hole. And we're live now here at the eighth hole par three. Song Yeon currently at one under par and has taken four iron. Looking fairly good and will run away from the pin. And that slope will continue to push that ball away from the hole. That will be a very delicate putt coming up. And now our leader, 
Nodding on for birdie to go nine under par and try to run away from the rest of the field. Oh, just grazing the less left side. And she'll remain at eight under par. And still leading by two over the rest of the field. Two shot lead over Hana Jung. Now to Minji Park, who unfortunately gave away two shots and recorded a, a very painful double bogey on the sixth hole, getting ready for her birdie putt. Needs to make something happen. Has already given away four shots all, since the start of the day. Oh, and this one also going in and out, and nothing is going her way today. So we've seen two putts that have had a good look at the bottom of the cup, but has decided not to go in. Anna Jung, who's in second place. Trailing by two shots to 99. This was for par. So our final group has moved on to eighth tee, the par three. The wind has calmed down just a bit, but look at that flag moving. It is still very, very windy. Let's take it to the leaderboard and 99 all alone at top at. Eight under par, one under par for the day, and Hana Jung staying there, but So Yun Ru, two under par, four under par. We'll stay with us. Stay with us as we continue to bring you the final round action of the Hana Financial Group Championship from Sky 72 Ocean Course. And let's take a look at the leaderboard again. 99, 8 under par. Hana Jang, 6 under par. And So Yun Ru, 4 under. Binji Park, look at that score, 4 over par. And Arin Kim has also gone backward a step. And Yoon Kyung Ho started off with a back to back birdie on the first and second hole, but has gone bogey, bogey, and has given away two shots. And unfortunately, she is currently at 2 under par. Jin Young Ko. Also trying to get into the first page of the leaderboard. And we'll have another look at the early round highlights at Minji Park. Second hole, and this was the result of her bogey. And, as, and consequently, with a birdie by the nutting on and her bogey by Minji, a two shot swing. Long par putt just coming up, sliding by the left edge. So since then, nothing has been going right for Minji Park. And our second place, Hana Jung, also being very careful with that downhill and may have given just a little too much respect for that shot. You can see that about five feet out, does go up the hill. But 
Minji Park had all sorts of issues, but 99 did not, and she hold it out for a birdie, and quickly took a two-shot swing on this number two hole. And on the third hole, it really looked like a, almost an easy par putt, but that's just an indicative of the kind of round that she has had, and back-to-back -back bogey on second and third round. Anna Jung, as she did yesterday, and on the fourth hole, rolled it in beautifully. Read that downhill fast speed. The green speed currently set at about 12, 12 and a half to 13 on steam meter. And the wind has really caused that green to dry out as well. Anna Jung. Off the green, pitched up, and came up way short and had a tough par putt coming up, and as a result, just was not able to save that par and bogeyed again. Now, this is where everything really unraveled for Minji Park. Third shot goes off the green. Sixth hole has been just absolutely treacherous hole for many of the players. We've seen a lot of double bogeys. And that pitch right there with the slope and the wind pushing it back and going all the way off the green again. And Hana Jung. May have had a one of the best chip shots she had all day. And almost hold out for a birdie, but settled for a par. That is just a, a difficult par to get. And on the eighth hole, Soyeon Ru, this is how she climbed into the third place and kept the line beautifully going up the hill at eighth hole, and as a result, he has climbed into the top three spot at four under par and look out, don't let this lady get out of sight. And the leaderboard once again. Today, we've only seen two players that have been in the red numbers. A huge moves up in that top with 99 grabbing a two shot lead over Hana Jang and Vinji Park has really gone backward, but still, lurking at the tie for fourth place. And all the players have just gone backward. And Unu Choi is one of the few plays, players who have done red numbers. Eighth hole is par 360 meters. Anything going to the right will Completely go off the green with a false front. And we just show you how Arim Kim has arrived on the green, and this is for a long par putt going downhill. Got to be careful. And may have been too careful in hitting that putt. So Yun Ru on the ninth hole, second hole. Asking that ball to go and finds herself in the green side bunker. I don't think she was able to strike that ball as she would have liked. So she'll have a tough bunker shot coming up. Yo Ju Kim was able to save a par in that hole in the same similar position. That looks like a pretty good putt. So Jin Young Ko had thought that she had made that putt. Settled for par on the 10th hole. The remain at one over par for the tournament. 
has also given away two shots, as many of the players have done in the very, very difficult condition. The winning score for Hana Financial Group Championship for last year was 12 under par, but it would be almost nearly impossible for any of the players to get to 12 under par, but you never know. Our leader, 99, veering off to the right, and we had mentioned that anything going to the right might lose it, but fortunately at the end was able to draw that ball just a tad bit, stays on the green, and playing very, very careful and really knows how to manage this golf course. And got to give a lot of credit to 99, who's only won once on the KLPJ Tour. And that came this year, looking to repeat. In 2020 season, only three players have done that. Nana Zhang has other thought, not only to defend her title here, but also win on a back-to-back -back week basis. And has gone left to right quite a bit. And that ball will roll off. So many of the players just not able to get that ball closer to the hole. The, the pins sitting on that almost the third tier. And let's see if Benji Park is able to make some moves right here. Has given away four shots already. Four over par for the day, but still three under, only five shots out of the lead. And anything could happen on this very treacherous ocean course. It looks like a really good shot. And wasn't able to make it onto that top tier. All three players have elected to go to the right side of the green. So distance control on their putt coming up will be very crucial. There have been six come from behind wins on the KLPJ Tour. This is the 17th tournament that have been staged in 2020 season. A lot of credit to KLPGA and the go golf industry in Korea to be able to stage this many tournaments during the global pandemic due to COVID-19. We'd love to welcome those fans back next year as we had hundreds of thousands of fans coming to HANA Financial Group Championship last year. And this is Diane Lee, the runner-up finisher from last year's tournament. Good 35-footer coming up. And comes up just a bit short, but still showing some really good putting touch. Currently tied for fifth place with two under par. With the windy condition as it is today. It's taken enormous time for even the tap in putts. We'll go back to eighth hole. Anna Jong, our overnight leader, currently in second place. And has done it nicely. So the distance control has been excellent. There's one thing that we have seen out of Hana Jung has, is that she has been very, very patient. So Yun Ru with the bunker shot out of the ninth hole. On that soft touch, knows that it, as soon as the ball will come out, it will have a severe downhill slope. A bit unfortunate. The ball didn't get closer to the hole, but Hyoju Kim 
was able to negotiate a par out of that same bunker on the ninth hole. 99, our leader for birdie. Oh, this is just a little bit too much. A tester coming back for a par putt for our leader, 99, to remain at 800 par for the tournament. So young to remain at 400 par in the sole possession of third place. So she will end up with a bogey and has given away the shots that she has gained today. And will make the turn at level par for the day for the day and two under par for the tournament. Now Midji Park. Four over today so far through the seventh hole. Needs to make something happen. And again, players not taking any chances. Wanting to make sure that they don't blow that putt by. It's the kind of day that you could easily get a bogey, even double bogey. And Cannot get too aggressive. So this will be Adim Kim coming out of the rough. That pin just tucked just behind the bunker. And again, not able to hold the green. Rolls off. Just five paces from the right edge, that pin position. Has only about 13 steps to negotiate to get that ball closer to the hole from the front edge. Song Yan also struggling. Coming in to left side, and that may not be a bad shot. This is another long par birdie putt coming up, but I don't think you can get too aggressive with that putt. Let's go back to the eighth hole, par three, our leader, 99. And not in has been so consistent with those rather awkward putts. Difficult putts, a four or five footer. Has not missed one single putt yesterday or today so far. All right, simple part putt for Anna John. Cleans it up nicely to remain a six under par. Two behind 99, her playing partner. So these three ladies also played together yesterday. And it was Minji Park who birdied it out. On the 18th hole to climb into the three-way tie, but has quickly fallen out of that leader. Okay. Anna Financial Group Championship was played at least a month ago last year at a much warmer condition and a... Players are fighting not only tough course setup, but also a cool and windy condition here at the final round. 99 continuing to lead by two shots from Sky 72 Golf Resort Ocean Course. Stay with us and we'll be back after these messages.
And welcome you back to HANA Financial Group Championship Final Round Action. Mike Kim with you. And we're happy that you joined us today. And not a cloud in the sky. What a beautiful day, but cold weather. Cool temperature with the windy condition. Once again with us here at Ocean Course. And the players are having all sorts of problems. And finding birdies has been a, one of the rarest occasions. But not for 99. As she had done yesterday, just keeping things very steady. Now, if you notice that she's had birdie on second and third round, ninth hole has been rated the fifth hardest hole on the ocean course. And once again, we find her right in the middle of fairway and just exuding with confidence ninety nine made her career debut on the KLPJ tour back in two thousand fourteen and won for the first time this year and currently on eleventh on the money order better in Hana John has won 13 times on the KLPJ Tour and now is the, the winningest player on the KLPJ Tour as an active player. And keep in mind that she is not only the defending champion but has also won last week and has won seven of those 13 tournaments in the fall season. Adim Kim Good looking chip shot. And that is just a beautiful touch. Love to see her get back into the swing of things, but we'll make the turn at two over par for the day, one under par for the tournament. You can bet that Arin Kim will take some dead aim of those pin positions and with an opportunity to get there in two of those par fives, she will do everything she can. And what a great touch by Song Yan. <laughs> Song Yi, who also debuted in 2008, had to wait literally 11 years before she won her first tournament of her career. Let's go look at the So Yun Ru on the tenth hole and was not able to get on that top plateau. And she will have a long uphill with a big swing putt coming up for Birdie. Right, Minji Park. Minji, whose mother played on the Olympics, was a silver medalist. And one of the things that Minji Park has done so well is that she set the record on the KLPG Tour by winning only 10 days after her making her professional debut. That's a very good strike. have been a little bit too much. So rolls into the, the backside bunker on the ninth hole. So she's going to have another treacherous bunker shot coming up with the wind blowing and the slope running away from you from the bunker. So not in on. Done it beautifully. And 
I am just impressed by Nutty Nan, the way she has been able to manage her game. Has not backed down whatsoever from playing with the veteran Hana Jong, who also won three times on the LPJ Tour. So if you follow the LPJ Tour, her name will sound very familiar to you. A bit of a, just a downhill lie. Let's see if she can put a lot of spin on this shot. Oh, and it's coming up just a bit short. A couple more inches, and that would have been a, just an unbelievable shot. An opportunity to birdie. So again, ninth hole has shown some teeth. So that's Minji Park's bunker shot on the ninth hole. Not much green to work with, and we'll have a sizable distance to carry. And the wind is really kicking up, as you can see the pin, pin flag just howling. out of the four days that we have seen the final round has been the hardest when it comes to the the wind direction birdie for Soyeon Ru and that has gone way by the hole and she is now going to be faced with an incredibly difficult delicate putt coming back for a par Jin Young Ko off the green. A lot of spin. Oh! I thought that she was going to chip it in for a birdie. So every one of these shots have just been so challenged by the fact that it's been very windy. Hold, just not able to get that touch in their hands. Oh, beautifully done by So Yun. So today it has just been so difficult for these four or five footers from all different directions. Doesn't matter whether it's an uphill or downhill putt. Minji. Good looking shot. And has just an unbelievable job with that bunker shot. Well done, Minji. So that will be for par on the ninth hole to remain at three under par and tied along with So Yun Ru. So sometimes it doesn't take a birdie. Sometimes it really takes a, a really good bunker shot to save yourself a par, to really get get a better momentum. And this is one of those shots that I think Hana Jung gets a little too greedy. You need to get that ball closer to the hole, not trying to hole it out. Two shots behind Nadinan. You cannot let her get away too far. Now Hana Jang, who's won this tournament last year, overcoming a deficit on a final hole birding of the 18th hole in the final round against Dayan Lee. Very painful loss for Dayan. Since winning in Vietnam for Diane, has not been able to find the winner's circle so far in 2020. Song Yan on the 10th. Hmm. There you are. Three over par in the front. And 
still looking for that first birdie of the day. that ball roll back and it might and I think she knows this green quite a bit quite a bit so she has taken a bit of advantage of the course knowledge that will still be a very tricky birdie putt coming up for Song Yan. and looking at the scores by other players so far no player has had more than Three birdies all day. Turning, and it's That's dropping it. in for a beautiful birdie on 99. What a beautiful touch by 99, and is now taking a commanding three shot lead. That could potentially go to four depending on what Hana Zhang will do with her par putt. Her ball striking, course management, putting touch, everything is going her directions. And particularly her ability to be able to read that green has just been phenomenal. Now Hana needs to make this par and stay within the, the side of Narinan. Crucial putt coming up for our overnight leader, Hana Zhang. And that was right all the way. That might have been a misread. So just like it happened on the second hole, there has been a two-shot swing on the ninth hole. So Hana Zhang drops down to five under par, three shots behind 99. Minji Park after an excellent bunker shot. Now trying to clean it up for par to remain at three under par for the tournament. Well done, Minji. So the final group has moved out of the ninth hole and will be making the turn to 10th. Every single hole has been just a nail biter. I didn't Kim. Well done. And yeah, just a bit to the right of uh, where Song Yan is, but ball will move just a slightly, but that should be a a good birdie opportunity for Nadim on. Adim Kim. Been some movements and not it on nine under par and Hana Zhang falling a shot back now taking four shot lead with Soyeon Roof tied with Benji Park at three under par and all of a sudden not it on is running away from this Sky 72 Golf Resort Ocean Course is playing tough stay with us as we continue to bring you the final round action of the Hana Financial Group Championship we'll be back
And welcome you back to the Sky 72 Ocean Course, where the final round for the HANA Financial Group Championship is continuing under a breezy and cool condition. But Nadia Nan has been red hot, has taken the four shot commanding lead over the rest of the field. Now this is Arim Kim for birdie. Just slightly uphill. And not able to read that break. And the sudden break just at the end of the, the putt. Just a lone bogey with the three, three bogeys with a lone birdie. Playing partners only on birdie attempt. Also sliding to the lower side. Took her 10 years to finally win for the first time on the KLPJ Tour for Song Yan. And then Took less than a year to repeat for the second time. All right, here's our leader. Four shots lead over Hannah Jung. Another two shot swing on the ninth hole. And another gorgeous tee shot. Never seems to come out of her swing. Beautiful finish. And her balance has been just near perfect. So these three players played together yesterday in the third round. All finished at seven under par and wore the overnight clubhouse leaders. Nadia Don is two under par and the front nine, but unfortunately, Minji Park has gone backward considerably at four over par with a double bogey and two bogeys. And a good tee shot by Anna Jong. Anna won last week at Jeju Island at SK Networks Tournament. That tournament also played under a very, very difficult condition. And Min Gyeong Choi has also given away a lot of shots. Three over par for the day. Go, go. And that might go in. No. That could have been the 13th hole in one of the 2020 season on the KLPJ tournament. But look where that ball ended up after running it by an inch or two to the left edge of the. <laughs> And looking at the, the Player of the Year award list, Ejin Choi all alone at 429 points. And Hyoju Kim right behind her at 90 points. Now, interesting to note that Hyoju Kim has won twice while Hye Jin is winless, and yet Hye Jin is in first place because out of, out of the 16 tournaments, Hye Jin Choi has finished 15 times in the top 10. But Hyoju Kim is all alone and the money list was 713 million won in her bank. And Hyung Kyung Park, who also has won twice, won for the first time at the KLPJ Championship back in May. 
And she is behind Hyoju Kim by 200 million won. And Heran Yu is all alone in first place for the, the race for the Rookie of the Year award on the KOPGA Tour at 2020 season. And Setting Hyun is behind her at 984 points. And scoring average for Hyoju, 69.3. Showing the remarkable consistency to leading the money as well as the scoring average on the KLPGA 2020 season. So Yun Ru on the 11th hole looking at another birdie opportunity to get within five shots of our leader, 99. Gets over that hill. And that's a good distance control for veteran Soya and Rue. <laughs> we'll go back to the 10th hole. Here's the final groove. 99. Getting ready for her second shot. A leader by four shots over Hana Jiang at five under par. This is going left. Way left. And might be the first time she has missed all day for the green. blowing just a slightly from left to right. Our leader may have tried to use the wind just a little too much. And Minji also starting that ball to the left. And comes up short again. It's pin eye, but pulled a little too much to the left. Yeah, it's, it's good to see Minji still in good spirit, despite the fact that she has given up four shots in the front nine. Hana Jung needs to focus. Looking at the stats from within the 9,800 meters, he's been able to get the ball to about 2.5 meters. That's a good looking shot. That's about where Adim Kim putted for her birdie. Now, if you called yesterday, in the third round, she hit that ball about, I would say, three and a half feet just behind the hole for her birdie opportunity. But unfortunately, she missed that putt. And just wasn't able to get anything going in the back nine. Ming Young Choi, who tantalizingly missing a hole in one. And whoa, that is an un unforced error there. Another sizable par putt coming up for Mingyo. Uh, Yoon Gyung Ho playing along with uh, So Yeon Ru. Needs to go up and did not hit it hard enough. It's just so difficult to judge just how strong you need to hit that. Started the day with back to back birdie and was threatened to get into the top three spots, but unfortunately, she has gone backward, is now in as at two under par. So every one of these putts 
have to become so much more difficult. That's our fifth bogey of the day. Now, Yoon Gyung Ho for a long par putt coming up. Oh, she was walking toward the hole that she thought that she had made it. We've seen a lot of putts coming in and out. Now, that's their third bogey today at one under par for the tournament. Minji Park. Oh, I think that is just a, a very brave shot. And it was the only way she was going to able to get that ball closer to the hole. What an incredible shot that was. She had that beautiful bunker shot out of the ninth hole. The backside green. So she may not be able to score, but her... Short game since we've been on the air has been impeccable. All right, 99 has seen what Minji Park has done, so that must definitely help her to just see how downhill chip this will be. Let's see what our leader can do here. That may have come up just a little, just a little bit shorter than she would have liked, but still, that's a very, very good effort. On the part of our leader who is currently leading by four shots and looking very good at saving yet another par. All right, so Yan on the 11th hole from the fairway. So to illustrate just how difficult today has been out of the 62 players currently on the field, only four players been under par today. Birdie opportunity for par five on 13th for Jin Young Ko. Three bogeys and one birdie for the number one player in the world, Jin Young Ko. Remains a two over par, and this is Arim Kim. Her tee shot has just ended up only, ended up uh, with only about 100 yards left this hole. And stay right there, don't run off too much. So that will be a good opportunity for Adim. All right, Hana John for a birdie attempt. See if she can keep that ball high and made it. Just so as she did yesterday. She got that ball close, but today it's been a different result. She's finally been able to hold that. <coughs> so this is going to be an incredible battle between Narinan and Hana Jang. It should get very interesting. One faulty move by Narinan. This tournament could get very, very close. Mm 
Confident putting stroke there for our leader, Dadinan, to remain at three shots clear of Hana Jiang. All right, So Yun at the 12th hole, par three. A bit of an abbreviated swing by So Yun Ru. And did not take the slope, but good effort on the part of So Yun. It's just so difficult to hit that green and to hold it. Cool temperature and breezy condition continue to create havoc for the players. Narinan holding on to that three shot lead over Hana Jan, who birdied the 10th hole to give herself a good momentum, make it the turn, and So Yun Ru at three under par. Stay with us as we continue to bring you the final round action from Sky 72 Ocean Course. We'll be back after these messages. And welcome you back to the Sky 72 Ocean Course where, uh, where we continue to bring you the final round action of the HANA Financial Group Championship. Our final group has moved on to the 11th tee and HANA Zhang, who made an excellent birdie to get within three shots of our current leader, 99. 
and has found the middle of the fairway. Still. Our defending champion of the Honda Financial Group Championship from last year. Got to be feeling really good, and you see those trees moving. Wind is kicking up again as the afternoon rolls on. The players must be feeling very, very tired. They've already been on the course for nearly three, three and a half hours. Pace of play has been extremely slow indicative of how difficult this golf course has played. So the players take an enormous time lining up for not just the birdie putt, but even for two, three a rather easy par putts, taking no chances whatsoever. Nighting on our leader on the 11th. She has also found the fairway. Now, yesterday, Nadine had all sorts of problems with her tee shot and had found the fairway bunker on the 11th hole, but was able to save a par. Song Yan with a long birdie attempt and just coming up a one or two inches short. And Song Yi taking a bit of a frustrating gesture. Telling the ball, what were you doing? So the par 3 12th hole. And Yun Gyung Ho, who had a marvelous start. has elected to pitch that shot and has done a beautiful job with that. Again, we had indicated that this will be the final tournament, final round of her active career. She will be retiring after this tournament, but let's go check a look at the Arim Kim. This was for birdie. She knows that she is running out of holes. Birdies are so hard to be found. All right, so Yun Ru. That delicate chip shot. Come on, go in. All right, settle for a par in that hole. Once she cleans that up. Again, just to show you how difficult it has been. Out of the 62 players, only four players are under par today. Just four. And only nine players are in red number for the tournament. Minji Park. wind direction, how strong the wind blows changes by the seconds. So the players really have to be concentrating on the club selection as well as the, the shot selection. Our leader 99. Ball looks like may have come out of. She came out of that swing, and that's going to be a, a very similar position where Song Yan had for her birdie putt. But given how Dadi Nan has done all day with her distance control, that should not pose too much of an issue for Nadi.
wind blowing just a slightly from left to right. And started that ball left of the pin. And has done it nicely. So we have seen probably the closest to the pin on the second shot since we've been on the air. And Hana Zhang looking to go back to back birdie to get within two shots of the lead. Good par putt by Yoon Gyung. All right, Jin Young Ko, hardest hole on the ocean course, 14 par four. And unfortunate that it had too much spin on it. So now she's, she's hard to believe. It's hard for her to believe the ball stopped where, she, where it ended up. From that position, that is going to be an extremely fast downhill putt. Any chance of So Yun getting closer and potentially giving some threat to the top leader may have gone out the door just with that missed putt. Da Yun Lee with her third shot on the 13 par five. Ball rolling just ever so slowly toward the hole. We'll have a good chance for a birdie. Yeah, this bogey has to hurt for Dai Soyeon Ru. Bogey on the ninth and the 12th. She is also running out of holes, as it is the case with Adim Kim. And our leader, 99, who is furthest out, so she will be parting first here on the 11th hole. <laughs> so it's backed off, and it's now taking another look leader being very careful Mohana Jung very deep in her thought now 99 got to be careful This is just a beautiful touch by Narinan. Really rising to the occasion. When you get yourself in a difficult position as she did on the 10th hole, she was able to pull off a beautiful chip shot and save a par and once again in a difficult position on the green on the 11th, no problem. All right, Song Yan. Currently ranked 17th on the KLPGA money list in the 2020 season. And this is not looking all that bad. And that's a good, good tee shot. Giving herself an excellent opportunity. 12th hole, also playing second hardest yesterday. Average 3.49, almost playing as a par four. And Adi Kim will go next. Oh, 
this is going way right and that has found the greenside bunker that's going to be an extremely difficult bunker shot too quick with her swing now Minji Park still not out of it Gotta make some moves right here. Well, she certainly has been scaring the hole, but has not been able to make anything today. Look how fast that ball will come down. And look out! And Jin Young is acting as though that she's just won the tournament after that birdie on the 14. Well, yesterday, that 14th hole was rated the fifth hardest. I'm a little surprised that it was even rated the fifth, but it is rated all three rounds combined. Number one difficult golf course on the ocean course. Oh, Hana John. Back to back birdie. Just focused and just not wavering whatsoever. So, both Hana John as well as Narinan. Looking for a second win of the season right here at HANA Financial Group Championship. It is really coming down to do two-man race. And I should say two-player race. Well done by Narin. To now remain at two under par, remain at two under par for the day and Nine under par for the tournament. This is Diane Lee on the 13th. Left to right break. Has she hit it? May have hit it just a little too much. We definitely have seen quite a few misses like that by Diane. May not be her day to win, and she feels like she could be at least four or five under, but now back to 12th, and Arim Kim faced with a very difficult bunker shot and comes up woefully short, and that's what we were afraid of. Twelfth hole, particularly on the right side, that bunker is one place you do not want to miss. Yeah, Jung Kim also on the green side bunker. Green running away from you and a good shot. But it has been a miserable day for Wu Jung. She is already five over par, and should she miss that par putt coming back, will be six over. Almost a 12 shot swing from what she did yesterday, where she shot six under. We get into the second of the last final group. Still be Arim Kim's turn after getting into a bunker with her tee shot. And now she is just having a bit of a, a 
difficulty in trying to select the type of shot that she needs to hit. Now, needs to get over that ridge, over that hill, and then needs to check that ball closely. Otherwise, she could potentially be ended up with a double bogey. This 12th hole, rather looking innocent, was the second hardest hole yesterday. Doing a little bump and run, and that's exactly what we were afraid of. So Aaron T-Shot for Adim Kim has created a lot of difficulty. And Adim could potentially not only lose a shot, but maybe your two. And again, we mentioned how difficult the Sky 72 Ocean course has been for the players. Only nine players, nine players are currently under par. Jung Kim, par putt coming up. Very, very difficult par putt. And second to last group still remaining on the 12th green. Will definitely force the final group to wait on the 12th tee box. Oh, nicely done. That is a gorgeous par. So that has to feel as though that she has just gotten a birdie. She was five over in the front nine, still has not been able to find the first birdie of the day, but let's go to the 13th hole, par five. 550 yards, par five. So Mi Lee, 178 meters out, and So Yun Ru, 175, and Yoon Kyung Ho, all faced with the a sizable third shot, and Yoon Kyung Ho will go first. And that will have a very difficult chip shot. All right, birdie attempt for Song Yan. 14-year veteran on the KLPJ Tour. And that is one of the rare birdie opportunities on this hole. And it's unfortunate that she'll be walking away with a par. Songi also having a very difficult day. Three over par for the final round and one under for the tournament. All right, Soyeon Ru, 13 par five, third shot. safely on the green but long away from it long distance away from the hole so young who works with Cameron McCormick who also teaches Jordan Spieth but while she is in Korea works with a, a local professional who also works with Gino Choi as well as a few other top professionals on the KPGA as well as KLPGA Tour 
Somi Lee. That looks like a pretty good contact. They're still good distance away from the hole. So the par 3 15 was a little easier hole for the players, but not today. All right, bogey putt for Adim. And she's done it. Shaking her head, saying, wow, that was a good bogey. Well, if there ever was a good bogey, it was right there. All right, Jin Young Ko on the 15th hole with her second shot on par five, par four. From this distance, she has been able to get within about 15 feet. Oh, nicely done. And after that unbelievable birdie on the 14th, she is now poised to go back to back birdie. All right, our final group has finally been able to get ready for their tee shot. And Hana Jong, our defending champion of Hana Financial Group Championship, getting ready for her tee shot on the 12th hole, par three. That's looking, going a little left. And will that ball come back? No, it'll continue to run away from the hole. That is going to have a lot of distance as well as the break to carry. All right, Nadi Nan, who who's been able to keep it very steady after that excellent birdie on the ninth hole, another unexpected birdie. Now, Leading by two over Hannah Zhang, who's gone back to back birdie on 10th and 11th. Dari Don, who's won once this year, her first win in a seven year career on the KLPJ Tour. Has always been a solid player. Nadin, currently 11th on the money list on the KLPJ Tour. And today, so far, has only yielded three birdies. Five iron, going a little left. And has found the it might it might have gone in the green side bunker. Not sure whether it's gone in the bunker or stayed out of it. All right, Yoon Gyung Ho who pulled that third shot way left. Good looking touch. Minji Park, who's not been able to find any birdies, but have only lost four shots. And this could potentially be a shot that she could get a shot back. And that's a beautiful tee shot. So 
Potter Grove making their way over to the 12th green, but now we'll go to the 13th. This is So Yun Ru. Look how fast that green is. Just shaking her head. Just hadn't realized that putt was that fast. Now, So Mi Lee also from a similar position, a little sh closer than So Yun. Good putt, good distance control. Saw how fast that ball and quickly ran by the hole for So Yun as well as for Yoon Kyung Ho. And tapped it in for par to remain at <coughs> one under par for the t tournament. Oh, it didn't go in the bunker, but it's going to be a treacherous downhill chip shot. Let's see what she can do. Oh, look at this. She certainly has all the shots in the bag. Putting a lot of spin on that ball as it rolled down. Got it close enough to give herself a reasonable par chance. Nice, uh, nice, uh. Well done by Yoon Gyung. Remained at one under par. <laughs> and one under par currently is good for tied for fifth place. <laughs> and that's how <laughs> difficult this golf course has been. Now look where she's aiming here, Hana Jung. Almost toward where the gentleman is holding the leaderboard sign. Now we'll make that huge turn to the left. And may have played a little too much to break. Now faced with a very difficult distance par putt coming up to remain two shots within our leader, Nadi Don. Jin Young, back to back birdie, 14th and 15th. Something to smile about. So back to level par for the tournament. And that's where she started today. Very important par putt coming up for our leader. For Hana Jung, who's two shots out of the lead and comes up short. Oh, okay. Has elected to go ahead and cut out. So loses a shot and now be three shots behind Nadi Don who's faced with uh, about a four footer to save a par here at the 12th hole, which has played the second hardest hole all day. All right, Minji, the birdie putt coming up. This will only be the fourth birdie here in the final round. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of break there. Just slightly downhill. First birdie of the day for Minji Park. 
Oh, and stayed left all the way. What a missed opportunity for Minji. Have another look from the backside and never had the line. All right, not it on. Must make par putt coming up, but quickly we'll go check out Song Yan, who's moved on to the fairway for her third shot on the par 5, 15th, 13th hole. Would that come down? And I think it will stay up there. So she'll also be faced with a downhill birdie putt. Let's go back to the 12. 99, who's been playing bogey free round today. This is to remain at three shots over Hana Jong. And confidently rolls it in. Two under par in the front nine. And no bogey. And so far, with two under par, that is the lowest round of the day. Arim Kim with her third shot. And look at that spin and spins toward the hole. We'll have a good chance. Not sure where she's running toward. All right, let's take a look at the leaderboard once again. 99 at 9 at the par. Three shots cleared of Hana Jung at Minji Park. Missing a golden opportunity to get within five shots of the lead. At four of a par for the day and three under par for the tournament. We'll continue to bring you live action of Hana Financial Group Championship from Sky 72 Ocean Course. Stay with us. We'll be back.
And we'll welcome you back to the Sky 72 Golf Resort Ocean Course where the Hana Financial Group Championship final round action is continuing right here near the Incheon Airport, Korea. And 99, our overnight leader along with Minji Park and Hana Jang is currently three shots over 99, over Hana Jang. And 99 is currently teeing off at the 13th hole. She has been absolutely perfect with her tee shot. Unlike yesterday where she was just struggling to find the fairway. And despite that, she was able to somehow remain in the contention and was able to get into the top leaderboard along with Minji Park and Hana Jang. Minji with her tee shot. Okay, shot. That also looks like a pretty good tee shot and has come to the left. I'm surprised that 99 is consistently out driving Minji Park. Not in, a seven year veteran. Had to wait six years before she finally was able to enter the winner's circle this year. Anna Jung elect to go to the right side of the fairway. Nadi Don does not seem to be all that nervous. Three shots clear of Hana Jung. And moving on to the 13th hole. Tongi on for her birdie. And again. This has been a very, very difficult day. We've seen a lot of players giving up shots, but have not been able to find even one single birdie all day. A bit of a right to left putt for Arim and done it. Arim is talking to her putter saying, well, finally, you're starting to listen to me a little bit. So animated. All right, so Yun Ru. And looking pretty good. Let's see if that slope will take it, but comes up much shorter than she would have liked. And looking at the 13th hole par five, here you get a really good view. There's a water hazard all the way on the right, all the way to the green, but there's also a little creek. On just directly across the fairway, so it is definitely a full three shot par five. Many of the players have elected to go with their second shot into get themselves into somewhere near around 120 to 130 yards. And with the pin in the back. About five pace from the right. Just visually, it is very difficult to try to get closer to the hole. So players will also, most of them will be going to the left of the pin and coming up quite a bit short. It was the second easiest hole as of yesterday. 
Minji Park getting ready for her second shot and got to be careful. All right. Stays on the fairway. Now with that shot, and she will have a very, very difficult third shot coming up. will go first over Hana Jiang. Not in, holding on to a three-shot lead over Hana Jiang, but anything could happen. She has also gone to the left side, taking no chances. It's a good looking shot and will be almost 50 to 60 yards in front of her playing partner. So she'll have a really good chance to get very closer to the hole. And looking ahead in case, if you're wondering if there have been a playoffs in 2020 season, yes. We've had three tournaments that were decided in the playoffs. Yoon Gyung Ho with her shot and gorgeous shot by Yoon Gyung on a treacherous par 4, 14th, and ball will take the slope and get closer to the hole, but that's just indicative of how fast the greens are, and she will also be faced with a downhill birdie putt. Jin Young Ko on the 16th hole. Is that a back-to-back -back birdie on 14th and 15th? Looking for another birdie. And just sliding by. Back to par 513. Our final group, Minji Park. 99, our leader by three shots over Hana Jiang. Park has selected her club for her third shot, and there's a considerable distance to cover. Curious to know just how far she has to hit. And wind is really kicking up. And you see the cameras just shaking. And from distance, the pin flag on the green is just howling, and wind is just really into the player's face. Sounded crisp. And comes up short, and many players have come up shorter than this hole. Leader not in, tucking it over with her caddy, and has elected to go. With an iron. Her swing, so consistent. She, her balance has been incredibly, just so stable. It's just a pleasure to watch her swing. Thirty-six yards, and she let that club go, and that has gone into the the rough, and will now have a very difficult chip shot, downhill chip shot for her. So, 
Every single time she's been in this situation, she's been able to come out a bit with the par. Right, Hana John with just 95 yards. Oh, that is just not, not the kind of result that Hana would have expected from that distance. Let's go to Soyeon on the 14th green. Big swing break downhill. And I think that's a good putt. Should be happy with a par in this hole. Didn't really have a realistic chance to have a run at it. Birdie for Yoon Gyeong coming up. Not had a birdie since the second hole where she went back to back birdie to start the day. This is to go two under. And never had the line. So the players are just having an incredibly difficult time reading these greens on ocean course. And she has lost a shot today. Two birdies and three bogeys. All right, Ajin Choi. Six over par for the tournament. Currently number one on the Player of the Year award. This will be her third shot on the final hole, the par five, 18th hole. And that's a sizable par putt coming up for Hedge Jin, so. Never really got on track and has not been able to get anything going. So only the second time in 17 tournaments this year, she will be finishing out of top 10. Ooh, that was a, that was a very scary par putt. One under par is good enough for time for fifth place. So for Yoon Gyeong Ho, playing her final round of her career, if she could walk away with a top five finish, that would be a nice going away gift for veteran Yoon Gyeong Ho. Long birdie attempt for Minji Park and may have hit it too far to the left. Now with Hana Chang getting ready for a birdie putt, but also Nadi Nan getting ready for very Delicate chip shot. Uh, this will be her four shot. And that is just an unbelievable result. Every single time she gets into a bit of a difficult situation, she has an answer for just about everything. So for her competitor, Hana Chang, she's going to have to do it on her own. Not going to be able to get any help from Nadi Nan today, doesn't seem like. All right, Song Yan on the 14, par four.
Might be going a little left. And good looking shot. So another excellent opportunity for birdie for our veteran Song Yan. Had a just a golden opportunity on a 12th hole, but unfortunately, was never able to find the line. But now Adim Kim. Got a little bit of momentum back on the 13th hole. Birdie. I would love to get another birdie right here. Apparently tied for fifth place. Not sure what happened there. Perhaps the club selection might have might have been a miss, but Hana Jung running out of holes need to make something happen. And it may have just been a misread by Hana Jung. Birdie opportunity on the 13th hole could have been wasted by a bit of a miss shot on the third, the third shot on the 13th hole, but just 97 yards out, she was not able to get within a reasonable birdie opportunity range. But Nadiran also faced with an easy par putt coming up. Remain at three shots out of the lead. Yeah, right, Minji, good par putt. Remain at three under par and will be in her sole possession of the third place. Adim Kim, who has such a great round, the second round, six under par, but has not been able to get anything going since the second round. Adim, who struggled in 2020 season, had made a swing coach change. In the middle of the season. And not it on. Just keeping it steady here. Still leading by three over Hana John. As it has been the case for all other players, Hana Jung being very careful with these two and a half, three footers. Well done by Hana. So keeping it steady. Had gotten as close to two shots out of the lead, but unfortunately gave that shot away on the 12th par three. Yeah. Finally, Song Yan, a birdie. And where does it come from? The hardest hole on the golf course. So she saved the best for the hardest hole on Ocean Course, the 12, 14th hole. All right, Hedging Choi on the last hole.
Birdie, and I think she's got it. Drops it in for Birdie on the final hole. Four birdies, but lots of bogeys. But still, five over par, good enough to get in. Tie for 18th place. Out of the thick rough for Yoon Kyung Ho. And will that take the slope? And it has. It remains on the putting surface, but that also will be a rather a challenging birdie putt coming up for her. Somi Lee. Also using the slope and we'll stay right there. Two over par for the day, but still tied for ninth place at level par for the tournament. So Yun Ru. that she has bogeyed the first two days on this hole, which has been the easiest hole. And will it run up? And has made it up. Will it stay there? And yes, it will. So she will have another run out of birdie on the 15th hole. She birdied the hole yesterday. Yoju Kim will get ready for a third shot on the 18th hole. Yoju, who leads the money list on the KLPJ Tour this year with over 711 million won, equivalent to about $620,000 US, has left herself a sizable birdie putt. Now, 99 on the 14th. Leading by three over Hannah John. starting to kick up again and really blowing quite a bit. You can see those trees shaking. And Minji Par looking for that first birdie of the day. And this hole, the 14th, playing to downwind so it will definitely be advantageous for the players it won't be as difficult as the last three days for the players but still the 14th has not yielded too many birdies today Getting that good roll on this course. Huh? Final group has now teed off on the 14th hole. And we get another look at beautiful Sky 72 Ocean course. Leaderboard once again, 99 at 9 under par. Three shots over Hana John. And Minji Park and So Yun Ru holding on to their positions. And we will be back after these messages from Sky 72 Ocean Course. Sky.
72 Ocean Course. Stay with us. And welcome you back to the Honda Financial Group Championship final round taking place here at Sky 72 Ocean Course. A very breezy, cool Sunday temperature. And the players are definitely struggling. And Minji Park has struggled all day. Still looking for the first birdie of the day. Comes up well short with her second shot on the 14th hole, which has played the hardest. And Minji Park currently four over par for the day, but yet she is in sole possession of the third place. And that just shows you how difficult the playing condition has been. But not in on our leader. Just smooth swing, and that is going to be treacherous. That is going to be treacherous downhill putt. But if you recall, Jin Young Ko had no problem. She birdied this hole, add another birdie on the 15th. Go back to back bases. Hana Jung running out of holes. Needs to make something happen. 
sure no one better than Hana Jung knows. And that is a good position. Quite similar to where Song Yan was as she found her first birdie of the day on the 14th. Cause for a lot of smile and celebration by Song Yan. So yesterday and today, Narinan has been just so perfect, not only with the a chip shot to save a par, but also the distance control on the putting surface. So Narin taking a three-shot lead over Hana Zhang, as you see. Minji Park holding on and clinging on to the third position. So Yun Ru. Had one time gone four under and given away two shots. And due to the fact that COVID-19 has not allowed any gallery to come and watch the tournament, a lot of these fans are sending their cheering messages from the our title sponsor, HANA Financial Group. These are some of the staff and employees of HANA Financial Group sending their messages to cheer on to the players. And this particular message cheering on the Yoon Gyung Ho who is retiring from this tournament as well as from her career. Had an illustrious 12 year career, won four times. So Yoon Ru Birdie and just, just a not high enough. Let's just see how smooth that ball is rolling. Just no margin of error. Ayan Cho, the winner of the Rookie of the Award last year on the KLPJ Tour. Right to left break. use that color ball as her sponsor. So she is finished with her round, two over par for the tournament and one over par for the day. Now we'll go back to the 14th green, Benji Park. Our overnight co-leader. And that putt should give Anna Jung some idea on where that ball, how that ball will break for her putt coming up. Similar line. Kyoju Kim. Also big right to left swing. Oh, just skidding by that right edge. Kyoju, who's currently leading the scoring average as well as the money list, has not had a good tournament this week. And will also finish at two over par. That's for good, for good enough for a tie for 11th. One bogey all day. And that was it. All right, 99, our leader by three. Very fast putt coming down. And still very good touch. Go to the 15 par four, 300 meter going straight up, bunker all around the green, and the green is elevated. Arim Kim 
has blown past Song Yan on this hole. Song Yi out of the rough on the left side. Takes the slope, doesn't come back. That is not a bad shot there, though. All right, let's see what Arim can do. From this distance, she's, in, she's been able to get the ball within about uh, 10 feet of the hole, so. Let's keep an eye on this shot. Good looking shot, so that stat doesn't lie. Another opportunity to, to get another birdie at 200 par. All right, right to left break for her. Must make putt, and she has. Was there ever a doubt? Hana Jang, three birdies in the last five holes with a bit of a blemish record, a bogey on th the 12th hole, but yet she has now gotten to two shots. And 15th hole, easy birdieable hole coming up. Look out. Diane Lee, the runner-up finisher last year at the HANA Financial Group Championship, and that will be a tap-in birdie for her. more rolls and she would have been the proud owner of that luxury sports sedan that's being put up as a hole in one prize on the 17th hole and that would have also been the 13th hole in one on the KO PGA Tour in 2020 season Diane who won in Vietnam in a season opener for 2019 2020 season in December last year has not been really able to get anything going Always a great ball striker. Uh, Sajin Park at one time was two under par yesterday, but has gone completely backward. So she's had a little bit of success on this hole and is now running toward the hole. Let's keep an eye on this hole. Let's keep an eye on it and comes up short. But still, with the wind just blowing so strong, she did very well just to get that ball on the putting surface. Minji Park, that is just really unfortunate. Never had the line. Now allowing her playing partner, Nadia Nan, to putt out first. All right. Every single time, as we said, she has not allowed her playing partner to get any closer than two shots. So we on. Downhill birdie putt. She can make it two in a row. No. So birdie's the hardest hole on the 14 and misses the birdie on the easiest hole on the course. Adim Kim for her birdie.
She did not hit it hard enough to keep that line. And what an unfortunate result for Arim Kim. Got to be kicking herself for missing that opportunity. And she is just beside herself. Two over for Song Yan for the day. A two under par still good enough to be in tie for fourth place. Jin Young Ko with her third shot on the final hole. And we'll come back. The soul playing straight downhill. And we saw Hedjin Choi try to get there in two. Chip from the back of the green. Let's go to the 15 par four. A lot of hazard on the left side. Trouble on the left. Green is well guarded by at least six bunkers. So the ideal position is to be on the right edge of the, the right bunker. And then the pin currently tucked today on the right corner. And you've got to get that ball on top tier. Make sure, and where Adim Kim ended up was probably the best place to be for a birdie. And she is still probably kicking herself for missing that birdie opportunity. And we have not seen any mistakes made by Adim Nadinan since yesterday. So it appears that Hana Jang will have to do it on her own. Looks like a bit of a, a cut shot. And we'll stay in the first cut. That shouldn't be a too much of an issue. Such a good ball striker should be able to spin that ball. And not it on, just playing steady golf. As you see that this is the second easiest hole, has given away eight birdies and only six bogeys. One of the few holes that we have seen that have given away more birdies than bogeys. As I like to go with a fairway medal for a tee shot. Hops into the, the rough, depending on where she is and the kind of line that she has drawn, I think she will be just fine. And Minji Park missing that costly par putt to get into a tie for third place along with three other players. Min Ji currently five over par for the day. And she's gone with the driver. And that is going to also end up in the rough. So none of the players in the final group was able to find the fairway. Particularly for nutting on. Leading the tournament by two shots. There must be starting to settle in. Now, Diane Lee, after that gorgeous tee shot, will put it in for a birdie, for tap in birdie on the 17th hole.
All right, birdie putt for Jin Young Ko. Right to left break. And good touch by Jin Young. So she's done with her tournament. Now she, she will be moving on to the States to get ready to resume her playing on the LPGA tournament. She's been working very, very hard with her new swing coach. She's made that switch in the middle of the season, which is almost unheard of. All right, Sajin Park. Oh, in and out. Sajin, now seven over par for the day, and ha the ocean course has claimed yet another victim. All right, Hana Jang, out of the first cut. And from here, you can definitely see how uh, High that green is sitting, the elevator green is. Can't really see that pin too well. It takes a lot of touch. And coming out of the rough. Now, will that ball roll back a little bit? No. So she is going to be faced with a downhill side hill putt. Can't be too happy with that result. Now 99 getting ready for her second shot. Definitely she'll have to take into consideration that ball will be coming out of the rough. We'll catch a bit of a flyer lie. Once it hits that rock hard green, will definitely roll. From about 100 yards, she has averaged to get that ball to about 15 feet. Will that make it up? And it will roll back. It is going to roll back. Just didn't have enough pace. Just needed a little more pace and that ball would have gone up the hill and would have been probably closer, a very close to pull for a birdie opportunity. But 99 has been so consistent from that kind of distance, so shouldn't be a too much of an issue for her. Minji currently tied for third place with three other players. It's probably the best shot out of the three players in the final group. Let's quickly go to the 16th. Long birdie attempt by Soyeon Ru and trying to get out of that tie for third place. And the win is really taking that putt and pushing it away. Still kind of trying to figure out exactly what had happened to her putt. Now she's faced with a almost an eight to nine footer for par. Back on the 15th green for our final group, 99, our leader at nine under par. Currently, two shots clear of Hana Jang. This has come down to a two horse race between Hana Jang and 99. 
This is for birdie. Looking good. Wow. <laughs> So with three holes remaining, leading by two shots. Still not in the comfort zone, but boy, she is getting pretty close. And Soyeon Ru will fall out of the tie for third place. Can't believe that ball went left on her. Hannah Jong trailing by two shots needs a birdie right here and that looks like a pretty good putt it is just slightly to the right that was just beautiful putt by Hannah and that's got to be one of the better putts that we have seen out of Hannah other than those birdie putts that she has made, but her misses have been so close. Still remaining to behind Hana Nadiran, and now this will be Adim Kim. Adim pulled her tee shot way left, found the water hazard at the drop really had to struggle for a bogey and this hole also playing very very tough now yesterday 16th hole played as the one of the most difficult holes so we on Hear the sound of that wind blowing. Very aggressive line and runs completely away from the hole. And Young Kim, who's had a miserable day, currently six over par today. That ball will also run completely off the green, similar to where Song Yan is. Right back to 15th hole. Benji Park for a birdie. And that's a good looking putt. This one missing it to the left. Okay. So both Hana Jung and Minji Park not able to convert a birdie on the easiest hole on the 15th. Leading by two shots, going on to the 16th hole. Three holes remaining to the title as a winner of the HANA Financial Group Championship. Nadi Don holding on and keeping it steady as, we, as they make their way over to the 16th tee. This is Somi Lee. And 
defend that ball nicely. Look how much that strong wind is kicking up around the green. So Yun Ru getting ready for her tee shot on the 17th hole par three. And that looks going way left. Uh, not bad. Has hit the rough and made it on the putting surface. For the players. Now been able to really overcome the wind. Struggle all day, but you see how much the wind is being so strong, and yet seeing a lot of players not missing the green. And even some birdies to go along. All right, Yoon Gyung Ho. This will be the second to last hole of her active career. Found herself in the greenside bunker. So on. Very aggressive chip shot. Dayan Lee on the 18th hole trying to get out of the tie for third place with a number of players has decided to go with a bit of a bump and run. Not sure what that is but it works and has given herself a good birdie opportunity on the 18th hole. Adim Kim, long birdie attempt on the 16. Has not had a good day. A birdie and hits the hole and comes out. And had it not been for that ball hitting the hole, that would have gone past at least 15, 20 feet. Min Kyung Choi, who was holding on so tough yesterday, has really come unglued today and currently six over par. Good effort on the part of Min Kyung Choi to get that ball closer to the hole. 18th hole will be playing downwind. Be interesting to see what Hana Jang will do on the 18th. That's still a good touch. Runs away a little bit, but a lot more slope than Yoon Gyung Ho was able to see. And still being down by two shots, depending on what she does on 16, 17. Hana Jang will have to and almost be forced to go for it in two to put a lot more pressure on Nadi Don. All right, Sajin Park. From this distance makes it about 45% of the time. It's about 13 footer going up the hill. And well done, Sajin. Lots of bogeys and even a double bogey, but was able to 
at least get a birdie on the last hole to put a little bit of smile back on her face. All right, so Yun Ru, fortunate to be on the putting surface. Looking for a birdie and just tantalizingly missing. Perhaps she may not have hit it hard enough to keep that line. Asking for a playing partner. All right, she goes, she's go ahead and finish it out. And one under par for the tournament. But really, that could have been much better. At one time, she was four under par. Adding Kim to remain at one under par. Confidently put it in for a par. And she's saying yes. All right, another look at 16 toll. meters and really this is a hole that you cannot pull to the left side. Now we saw Hannah Jung pushing it way out to the right and had to lay up. But anything in the middle of fairway would be good. Now where the pin is today is tucked way on the corner of the right. So this will be one of the difficult shots, particularly for second shots since that the green will definitely run away from the hole. So players will be looking to keep that ball short of the hole to make sure that it that they do not have to chip on and will be faced with a downhill putt. Right, Hana Jung who just almost made another birdie on the back nine. That would have been her fourth birdie and the back nine to get herself back in the Within a shot. And looking right. And remember yesterday she pushed it way out to the right. Had to lay up and settle for a bogey. All right, Song Yan. Nicely done. So Song Yi maintains her position as tied for third place. Now back to 16 T, our leader by two shots. 99. And right down the middle and is just continuing to roll down on the fairway. And that should give her a very short distance for a second shot. So taking full advantage of the downwind. Minji Park, two under par, five over par for the day. Still looking for that first birdie of the day. It's also a good tee shot, but well behind where Nadinan ended up. So our final group has now gone off the 16 tee. Three holes to go with two shot lead by Nadinan, who's looking for a second win of her career. Second win in 2020 season. Yoon Kyung Ho for par and another heartbreaker on the 17th hole. Since the second birdie on the second hole today, 
It had just been downhill hill all day. Diane Lee for a birdie and sliding by the right edge. The runner up finisher from 2019 HANA Financial Group Championship. And she will still finish in a very respectable position and tie for third place. It's interesting to note that Anna Jung had told the media before the tournament that because the cool, windy condition, that the winning score would potentially be eight under par. Well, 99 is currently nine under par. So we'll see. She needs to get to nine under par. Bing Kyung Choi could not buy a birdie today. All right, Bing Kyung after a birdie in the first hole. It has been downhill all day. And Minji Park getting ready for her shot, but look. Beyond that, look how far Nadinan has hurt, has hit her tee shot. Wow. Can't be no more than about a 90 meters or less. All right, pin tucked way on the left corner, and that ball hit the side of the rough and just kicked way over the green, almost 40 yards. And the, the sun straight into her face, trying to figure out what happened to her shot. All right, three holes to go. Hana John down by two shots. Needs to make something happen. Oh, and it's ended up in the greenside bunker. I think she may have pulled that ball. And this is definitely given advantage to nodding on. Anna not able to put any kind of pressure whatsoever to nodding. yards downwind and that is beautiful shot we have not seen any shot that has hit the green on that spot and still hold the green and stay on the putting surface so with the birdie Opportunity to come enough for Nadine on our leader. Anna Jung faced with a, an incredible difficulty in the greenside bunker on the 16. Let's go to the 17. It's going way left and it's going in the bunker. And the wind, direction of the wind has changed. It's blown from right to left from the player's advantage. So that shot was definitely blown by the wind to the left side green bunker. All right, 
Arin Kim. Has elected to tee off from the left side of the tee box. Wow, he's gone with a pitching wedge. It's high up in the air, and will it have enough distance? And I've got to question her club selection on that one. That was just very short. That bunker will be pretty high to carry over. Now, once the ball hits the green, it will run away from you. Oh, that is just beautiful. Great shot by Hana Jang. Soft hand. Was able to just get the ball and hit the spot where she needed to, exactly where she needed to be. Seventeenth hole, Song Yan will go first. And may have nicked the, the pin flag as it went by. So it has been a long day for a lot of players, including Minji Park. Beautiful touch by Minji. Yeah, from for Minji Park, her second shot may have hit the sprinkler head and kicked completely over the green. Second shot out of the bunker for Ariem. Wow. It takes skills, takes just strength, and tremendous touch. And Ariem Kim's got all of that. These are one of the more difficult shots in golf. 25 to 30 yard bunker shot and just made it too easy. And you wonder why Adiem has not won more tournaments on the tour. <laughs> Adiem so animated. Just having a good time on the KLPGA tournament here. Birdie putt for our leader. This could potentially put a dagger into Hana Jung if she makes it. Just keeping it steady for 99. Leading by two with two holes to go. And Hana Jung coming up with a about a five feet par putt after an excellent bunker shot out of the greenside bunker. Must make putt right here. Must make putt to give herself any chance whatsoever.
Having a good look. Taking enormous amount of time to get ready. From this distance, make percentages 80%. And has made it. So get to Sandy on the 16th hole. So needs a birdie on the 17th and needs another birdie on the 18th to get into a tie with our leader, Nadine on, and hoping that Nadine won't birdie the 17th and the 18th. So Anna Financial Group Championship coming down to the last two holes between Narinan and Hanajan. Minji Park probably wondering what might have been. Three bogeys and a double bogey with no birdies at all. What a disappointing day it has been for Minji. And Song Yan has dropped another shot and will go into tie for sixth place with So Yun Ru and Adim Kim. Now the winner will be taking home 300 million won. Second place will be taking home 172 million won. And the third place will be awarded 120 million won. Asking that ball to sit and will. So Soyeon will have a chance. is trying to break out of the tie for sixth place into tie for third place with the birdie on the last hole. Good save by Adim Kim. All right, Yoon Gyung Ho getting ready for her potentially Second to last shot. Oh, nice. Oh, and it just runs away. So coming up for a final approach in her 11 year career. Anna John will have the honor. 17th hole. Two holes remaining, two shots behind. Anna John. That looks like a pretty good tee shot. That looks really good right at it. Oh. Can't figure out why that ball didn't go on the green. There is a bit of a swale. Kind of a captured area and may not have carried that over. Otherwise, that ball would definitely go, could have gone on the green and gotten very closer to the hole. Bit of a unlucky break for Hana Jong, but now here comes Nadinan, our leader, by two shots. Has played impeccably. Two birdies with no bogeys today. Going a little left of the pin. Oh, and then I think she has played it nicely. Sizable birdie putt coming up, but still that's a good play on the part of not in. Minji Park will go last. Let 
that wind just kicking up and it's just amazing the level of players uh, how skillful these players are despite this strong wind they're still able to hit that green and hold the green as they have done we saw almost a hole in one from Dayan Lee today and Songi Han yesterday and again Benji Park coming up shorter than where Hana Jang is. So out of the three players, only Nadi Nan has been able to find the green. All right, one final look at the leaderboard. Narinan leading by two over Hana Jung and Minji Park and Diane Lee at two under par, tied for third place. We'll be back after these messages to Sky 72 Ocean Core. Stay with us. And welcome you back to the Sky 72 Golf Resort Ocean Course at Hana Bank Championship. Narinan currently leading by two shot over Hana Jang. And we're down to the last two holes. But first, let's go to the 18th and Yoon Young Ho getting ready for a four shot. This will be the final hole of her active career. And a good shot. Leaving herself a... Uh, 
About a four footer for par. Had a good start. Going back to back birdie on the first and second hole, but as it has been the case with all other players, has had a tough day. All right, final group, Minji Park on the 17th, and that is a, a really good chip shot, but just comes up this short. And this has to give Anajang some idea how the green has, will be reacting once she comes on the green. Remember that yesterday on the par 5 13th hole, he, she chipped it in for a birdie. Somi Lee for a birdie. One under par and denied. So she'll finish the level par for the tournament and good enough to finish currently a tie for eighth place. And really interesting to note that Jin Young Ko, after having all kinds of problems yesterday and today, and yes, she finished in top 10. It just shows you how good a player she is. Now here comes the, the most critical shot for Hana Jung. Oh, being very aggressive. Wasn't going to leave it short. And would have ex expected anything different out of Hana. We'll go back to the 18th and check out birdie putt by Soyeon Ru. Soyeon. Birdie attempt to get to two under par and oh. And that's been the story of her round today. Just can't seem to find the bottom of the cup. Has made some really good putts. All right, our leader by two on the 17th. If she could make this putt, that would be pretty much game over for Anna Jung. Here comes the birdie putt by our leader. Oh, keep an eye on that putt. It's running away. And that slope has taken that ball completely away from the hole. And now she is faced with a danger of potentially bogging this hole. So putting on the 17th hole. is becoming a critical point here. Long putt, for, par putt coming up for Nadian. All right, what might be the final stroke of her career. And what a putt that was. Great par putt by Yoon Kyung Ho. Congratulations, Yun Gyung, and enjoy your retirement as she moves on. There are some messages in Korean. Best of wishes and best of luck to Yun Gyung in her endeavor as you move on to your second career has planned on becoming and getting into a management of the golf course managed by, owned by her in-laws. All right, Yun Gyo. Closing it out and gets a warm hug by So Yun Ru. All right. What an important putt for nodding on the tournament. Her win could come right here.
And first bogey of the day has come on the 17th hole and could not have come at a worse time. Now if Hanna makes the birdie on the 18th and saves a par here, we will definitely be heading toward the playoffs. This is absolutely a no gimme there. She saved another beautiful par putt on the 16th after coming out of the bunker. Now she has got to make this putt to get within one. 99 has already missed the par putt. Hannah Jung won last week has won 13 times on the KLPJ Tour, won three times on the LPJ Tour. This is for par. And sliding by, and that will continue to go by. And now, it is still going. Wow. Not what we had expected. And 17th hole all of a sudden has really become a disaster for Hana John. Now we saw from similar position for nodding on, missing it to the left edge. Not sure if Hana Jung took a note of that. All right, this is for bogey for Hana Jung. And no break on the right edge and we'll end up with a double bogey. Wow. That is completely unexpected result for a caliber player like Hana Jung. Or Minji had to wait a long time to get to get ready for her par putt. And Nicely done. Coming up on the last hole for Minji. Five over par, but that double bogey is absolutely shocking. Oh. So she has gained the shot despite the fact that she had got hit a bogey. First bogey of the day, thanks to double bogey by Hana John. Just incredible. Adim Kim. Try to go for it in two and found the water hazard and she's tried it again. And this one, again, I think she might be stymied. But as we say in golf, anything could happen. Yeah. 
Bottom group has moved on to the 18th. Final hole, three shots lead by Narinan over Hanajang. Almost an impossible, impossible scenario, but you never know. Minji Park, who had a par on the 17th hole, has the honor. Just in case, if you're wondering whether has there ever been a albatross, oh, okay. yes, there have. There was actually an albatross scored this season by Jung and Lee Six down at IS the Busan Open at the Stonegate Golf Course. And before that, last year, down at Jeju at Lotte Sky Hill, Designed by Robert Trent Jones. It was done on the 18th hole par five. <laughs> and finds the rough on the right side. So any, any attempt to try to go forward in two from there will be nearly impossible. So oh, defending champion Hana Jung, her dream of defending her title may have vanished, unfortunately, due to double bogey on the 17th hole. But we have to go back to that tee shot that she had on the 17th. Still mysterious as to how she was not able to get that ball on the green. And Song Yan with her third shot on the 18th hole. But Hana Jung, as she has done all throughout her career, was very aggressive with her chip shot on the 17th. Ran it by, and that par pot just rolled off almost like the top of the table. And Woo Jung Kim is currently now seven over par for the day. So 99, who won for the first time in 2020 season, after waiting six years for her first win. Let's take a look at the shot of the day. And Dayan Lee coming inches short of winning that beautiful sports sedan. Then we'll look at the bunker shot. One of the hardest shot in golf. It just lands it so soft. And Adin was able to save a par there on the 17th hole. So those were the two shot of the day here in the final round of the HANA Financial Group Championship. All right, final groove on the 18th hole fairway. And 99, three shots, commanding lead over Hana Jang. Adim Kim, who tried to get on in two, 
and was able to stay out of the bunker and in the rough. And that might have been the only shot she had. So again, she has not been rewarded by her aggressiveness on this par 5 18th hole on two consecutive days. Yesterday, she found the green, greenside hazard and had to settle for a bogey. Now Minji Park. It's a good second shot. Put yourself in a good position for a third shot. Today, the 18th hole. The pin is located 16 steps from the front edge, eight steps from the right edge. Very accessible by Arim. We'll settle for a par in this hole. And Hana Jung has also elected to lay up from the rough. No chance whatsoever to go forward in two. And that would probably be a smart choice. So Hana Jung's dream of repeating and defending her title and also winning on a back-to-back -back basis as well as winning for the 14th time on KLPGA Tour was dashed as a result of costly double bogey on the 17th hole. And 99. She had that little bit of a awkward stance, that ball sitting down a little bit. Jung Kim for a birdie. It's just hard to see that big break, especially around the hole. And no one's been able to read that break properly. Song Yan. Also need to read that break properly. And it's amazing that it won't break as much once you get past the hole. So she will finish three over par for the day, one under for the tournament. But that's good enough for tie for fifth place. Started off at four under par, and that would have been good for third place. Adi Kim for par. And one other par for the tournament. Also good for tie for fifth place, along with Song Yan and So Yun Ru. So a miserable day has come to an end. Look at that score 66 yesterday, 79 today. 13 shot swing. Must have given her a lot of good experience playing alongside with those top players. Now, how to John? Oh. 
I think Hana Jong got to commend her for just keeping her composure and still playing this hole as though that she has a chance to win this tournament. And Minji Park. Has also had a very, very tough day. Five over par for the day. But yet she's still tied for third place with Diane Lee who has already finished for the day. And looks like Minji will go first over Narinan. Certainly hope that next year, the COVID-19 will be under control and our fans will be allowed to come back to this beautiful Sky 72 Ocean course to enjoy this tournament. Benji, just hard to keep that ball below the hole even though that pin is about 15 pace from the front of the green. Narinan has found the bunker. Might be the first time we've seen anyone in this bunker. Got to be careful. 70 yards, 70 meters, so about 77 yards. Wow. No doubt about it. So this pretty much has done it for 99. And what a tournament it has been for 99, despite getting a bogey on the 17. If you look at the stats, 85% driving accuracy today, 82% greens and regulation, and putting average is 1.76. That stat is better than, much, much better than all of her stats for 2020 season. So as they make an announcement of the players walking on to the 18th green by the announcers, so, 99 will be crowned as the winner of the second HANA Financial Group Championship. What a battle it's been, and what a play and performance we have seen out of 99. But got to give a lot of credit to Hana Jang, who has fought hard, but unfortunately fell victim to a timely, costly double bogey on the 17th hole. So Hana Jang will most likely go first. Still having a good look. And it's just Showing a lot of professionalism on the part of Hana. So both hey. Hana Zhang and Diane Lee was still able to finish in top 10. Hana very close to defending her title at the Hana Financial Group Championship. And despite the such a difficult condition, the winner will be walking away with eight under par. And what a score that is. And it's, it's interesting to note that it was Hana Zhang during the, the press conference that she had predicted that the winning score might end up be even seven or eight under par. Not it on right now is exactly at eight under par and could potentially go to nine under par. 
she should make this birdie putt coming up on the 18th green. Slightly downhill putt coming up for Hannah Jung. This is for birdie. Come on, Hannah, make this putt. It's a good putt for Hannah. So the KLPGA, the 17th tournament, Hanna Financial Group Championship coming to an end. And they will be getting ready to play their final tournament and the 18th tournament. SKADT Cavs Championship. One of the more premier tournaments. They have increased the prize money considerably. So it has added a lot of incentive for the players. So dotted on. We'll be looking to win not only this week, but also to try to win next week to make it back to back. So nodding on, taking a lot of time, making sure He wants to finish on a positive note. What a tournament she has had. With exception of that bogey on the 17th hole, she has been just impeccable with distance control, putting touch, short game has been just spot on. Downhill putt, and what a putt that was. And she will mark that for championship putt. It has surely been a, a great day. Yesterday, 99 has so much difficulty with her driver was able to only find the fairway 30% or less. And yet she hung tough and won one of the won against one of the best players on the KLPJ tour. All right, Minji Park getting ready for her birdie putt. She has not had one single birdie all day and would love to get one right here. And comes up just a bit short. And has elected to go ahead and putt out. What a disappointing day it has been for Minji. Uh, we're in tie for first place, was an overnight leader along with Narinan and Hana Jang. All right, Hana Jang has elected to go first to allow the championship putt to take place. Our defending champion, Hana Jang, has finished her tournament 68-68, 73-74. Two over par for the day, that double bogey. She'll probably be remembering that for a little while. The 
biggest prize money tournament, Hana Financial Group Championship, coming down to the final putt. And this will make it official. And there it is, the winner of the HANA Financial Group Championship is Nadinan. Second win of her career, second win on the 2020 season. Congratulations, Nadinan. What a tremendous effort by Nadinan. And the water celebration has begun. That has got to be cold, but I'm sure she doesn't mind at all. Getting congratulated by a lot of her fellow players, but let's take a look at the highlight. Let's quickly go to the second hole. And par three, difficult hole. Now let's go to the ninth hole. This has to be one of the best putts that we have seen all day by 99. Never thought that she would have a chance to make it. And took a huge left turn and dropped it in the bottom of the hole. And there it is, the championship putt. And congratulations again to Nadine On, who has put on an unbelievable performance under the most difficult conditions. Here's the final round. The leaderboard, Nadiran, the winner by three shots over Hana Jang and Diane Lee, the runner-up finisher last year, finishing tie for third place with Minji Park and So Yun Ru climbed into tie for fifth place with Arim Kim and Song Yan and Jin Young Ko also tie for eighth place. Thank you so much for joining us today and throughout the tournament. We hope that you enjoyed the tournament brought to you from Seoul, Korea as we close out the HANA Financial Group Championship final round action. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time right here and so long everybody.